Hey, I'm Liz. I'll be testing this REI Skyward tent against some pretty heavy rain, and here's everything you'll find out in this video. Let's get right into it, starting with our tent check. So basically just checking for waterproofing features. On the outside of the tent, I checked the vestibule slash rain fly, and all the seams are taped. Now on the inside of the tent, there's this seam running across the flooring, and it's been taped. There are also corner seams on the flooring, also taped, and here's what the corners look like up close. For the other seams, I checked these blue seams at the bottom of the tent, the white to blue fabric here, this middle of the tent seam, this seam on top of that as well, and these seams all have been taped. Hopefully you can see the seam taping in this video, I hope it shows up. The topmost blue fabric to mesh seam here hasn't been taped, but that's covered by the rain fly anyway. There are also these vertical seams at the four corners of the tent taped all the way up and the window seams here are also taped. As for the other side of the tent, I checked the door seams which have not been taped. Actually, all the seams on that wall haven't been taped too, but that's because they're fully covered by the vestibule on the outside. Basically, whatever's been covered by the rainfly or the vestibule haven't been taped, and the seams not covered by the rainfly have been taped. So for the seam taping, all good. Oh yeah, and you can actually see the outline of the rainfly in this shot here. Apart from that, I don't see any other features like a tub floor. This blue flooring at the bottom is just made of lots of seams. For the first heavy rain test, I decided to use this water hose to simulate heavy rain which looked like this and I did this for one full hour. And during this heavy rain test, from just standing here and spraying the tent with water, here are two of the most important things that I noticed. First, the rain fly is ridiculously tiny. It covers only the very top of the tent and I think it's honestly one of the smallest rain flies I've ever seen. Usually, for most other cabin tents, the rainfly would at least extend down the side of the tent by a few inches, maybe 5 to 10 inches or so, and I'll flash a few tents on the screen here for you to check out. On the other hand, this skyward rainfly doesn't extend down very much, and the rainfly gap looks pretty big. I'm not too keen on finding out how this does in the rain. Moving along, the second thing I notice is that the window is completely drenched. Like completely drenched. So it is very limited ventilation on rainy days. But here's one thing that I really liked about the Skyward tent, which is this awning slash vestibule over here. I really liked that there's an extra pole that gives the door a little bit of shade and also protection from the rain, because it creates this nice little overhang over the door, which extends out by almost 15 inches over the door, and this prevents water from dripping off the roof and into your tent. On the other hand, for many other cabin tents that I have, the overhang above the door is so minimal that water will drip off the roof and right into the tent, which is obviously a huge con in the rain. A couple of tents that come to mind are the Coleman Sky Dome and also the Caddis Rapid. Also, when you zip the awning up, it becomes this vestibule, which is really great for storing wet gear on rainy days. Most cabin tents don't have vestibules, the Skyward is one of the rare few that does. And now the part that you've been waiting for, the heavy rain test results. So after the one hour of really heavy rain around the REI Skyward, I found that the entire tent was still dry and there was not a single drop of water inside the tent. In fact, every part of the tent was still dry. I checked the inner tent body, the mesh and the seams and everything was still 100% dry. Even the corners, which were exposed to so much water during the heavy rain test, stayed completely dry as well. And I think that's because the tent was very thoroughly taped, especially the seams near the bottom of the tent, like these corners here. Here's one more thing to take note of. Here's me checking the mesh from the inside of the tent. Notice how the water droplets from the rain test just stopped short of the mesh? I thought that was pretty amazing and the mesh was still completely dry. Considering how small the rainfly is, I was really surprised at how well it held up. Well, maybe that's because there was absolutely no wind on the day that I was doing this rain test. So I decided to kind of tilt the angle of the hose just a little bit, and I really mean just a little bit, and I continued to spray water all over the tent exactly like the first rain test of this video. And after just 5 to 10 minutes of this, I peeked into the tent and realized that there were a few drops of water on the side of the tent that I was spraying the most rain on. Then I looked up at the mesh and I realized that that's exactly how the water got into the tent. 
the mesh up top was pretty soaked and dripped down into the tent. And now here's me lifting the brain fly from the outside to kind of check out the damage underneath. Not only is the fabric area soaked with water, the mesh on top of the fabric is also pretty much soaked. Okay, so overall, here's a quick summary of what I found. If there's no wind and the rain comes down vertically, you'll be pretty safe because the seam taping all around this tent is pretty thorough. But if there's even the slightest bit of wind, it would easily blow under the rain fly, drench all the mesh on top and go right into the tent. And the main reason is because the rain fly is so dang tiny. If you check this shot out, you notice that it doesn't extend very much over the mesh ceiling at all, and that's why the water got into the tent. So if you're planning to use this tent in rain and wind, I think having a tarp over this tent would help a lot. For a full review on this REI Skyward with more than 20 tests, not just this rain test, check out this video on the screen here. Thank you for watching this rain test, you're awesome, and I'll see you in the next one.